Meg. It's the trade of the century. Yes, it's definitely. Epic. It's an epic, epic trade. breaking this down just a little bit for you guys basically my buddy hits me up and says that a local store uh to him which is about a four hour drive for me has a nintendo world championship gold cart and it's currently set aside the owner's not sure what he wants to do with it and i'm going for complete nests i'm getting very close and you know, I'm sitting there and I'm just contemplating, you know, there's no way I can afford it right now. I'm doing all this stuff with, uh, you know, with Nintendo uh, carts coming in and everything. I'm trying to save up and there's just no way I can afford to pay for an NWC. I mean, it's, I might as well get a second mortgage on my house at that point. But if there was a way I could pull off a trade and then I started thinking, what do I have that would equal in value to that? And instantly what came to mind is my Super Nintendo collection. Now, I love the Super Nintendo, and I've got a pretty good Super Nintendo collection, but this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. I mean, who really could say that they've even seen, let alone have a chance to own, a gold NWC? I mean, it's the type of thing where, you know, that's a collector's dream. I mean, that's, that's as good as it gets, so definitely, definitely uh, something that I need to work out. Packing up the Super Nintendo games, and, you know, it's it's bittersweet because I know what I could potentially get, but at the same time, I know what I could potentially lose, and, you know, I'm just really, uh, I'm just really nervous. I hope this works out. All right, let's fast forward now a little bit to a store called Forgotten Freshness in Mechanicville, New York, one of the premier video game stores in New York, and a store, in my opinion, with one of the best selections around and a really knowledgeable and awesome owner, Frank. Couldn't remember what this game was called. I knew everything else about it, including how to beat the last area, because I played it so much as a kid, and all the bosses, but I could not remember what the name of it was. And then one day on Game Trading Zone, some guy had a list of carts for sale, and it was on the list for like $12. It's not expensive, yeah. It's really cheap, and I was like, that's the game! I need that game! And somebody else was trying to buy it, and I had to give him an extra $4. So he sold me instead. Yeah. That's actually sealed, even though it's like worthless. The Dick and ah, Spike. Dick and Spike. Yeah. That story you had, though, was pretty funny. You know, the one where we were com I commented on it, I think, um, where the person changed their mind. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. You didn't even dig in this one yet. Not yet. I'm still looking you should, there. You should actually build piles of, like, the highlights. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. It's unreal. It's, it's, it's crazy. I don't know. Um, if I was in. If I was in Scott's position, I think I would definitely, I would definitely do it. But I don't know. I, I, I go back and forth on it because you'll ne he'll never be able to reacquire everything at the same price that he got it in the first place. So I don't know. I, I would do it ultimately, but I would certainly have hesitation. As Frank was going through these games and trying to decide, you know, what the value was and if the purchase or the trade, I guess, would be fair for him or fair for me, I was just so apprehensive and nervous. I was really hoping that he would take the deal, and it, it's going to be very hard to part with these, and I'm definitely going to be sad to see them go, but at the end of the day, it's just, it's just crazy in a once-in-a-lifetime trade. Now that all the games were laid out, it was time to put on the charm. I had to help convince him that this deal was better for him than it was for me. One thing that they were saying too, Frank, is I mean, obviously, you know what the NWC is worth. I mean, that's not, you know, you'd have to be a fool or a like to not know what it is, but um, this to you, I think, would be more eye candy and more drawing. People would see, you know, all these different games as opposed to one potential happy customer, you could have hundreds, which right, takes better takes years, I mean, considering where I, where it came from. So Frank, okay. uh, general impressions. What do you think? <laughs> we don't uh, I would have the best Super Nintendo case <laughs> of all time. Of all time, yeah. This is what I mean. My case is I've had good stuff like this all at once before. Um, I think I have a picture of it somewhere, but never uh, 
you know, the Captain Commando is one I've never had complete in the box. I've never had a Blazian complete in the box. Uh, i trying to think of anything else here I've never had. I don't know. I've never had a manual for Hagane. I don't know if that's actually complete. And I have a Ninja Warriors box and card, but I don't have a manual. So, there's this a lot the of most impressive uh, Super Nintendo yeah, 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 lot sure. that's ever walked through your door. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, uh, it's, it's quite a bit. It's pretty expensive. Yeah. I've been out here doing math, and I just averaged all this stuff, and then added all this up by what I could sell it for. I mean, it's I was it just under sixteen. Yeah. Is this all under about sixteen thousand? Something like that. Yeah. That's now, is this something that you're gonna? That's, what's that? Now are you gonna make this trade? Oh, it takes a lot of things. Like I I feel like if, uh, if, uh, if what he's after is probably worth twenty. But I'd sit on it for probably like four or five years. I'd move, yeah, start right. moving this stuff instantly versus what I even paid for the other one because obviously you found it right in there. Like I can't believe the guy I got it from didn't know I had it. That he had it. The funniest thing is he thought it was Zelda. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was like garbage and just left it in the card only box. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I think both of you are going to be pretty happy. I think so. Secret compartment. Oh, I, I have never. This is insane. Oh, like, I'm always like holding back my hands shaking. That's the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. That's pure beauty right there. A little stuffed, but yeah, that's you know that's just. Yeah. So I was only half hearing what you were saying over there, but I kind of had the same idea that you know obviously this is like I'm trying to keep my hands from shaking. Holy cow, this yeah. is nerve wracking. But. That type of stuff is stuff that you'd be able to move really easy. Yeah. This is the type of stuff where you might have to mail it out and worry about getting scammed, or you might have to deal with some guy coming in, and well, hopefully this guy coming in, but yeah. Without beating the bush to death, what do you think, Frank? Do we have a deal? I think I could do that. I think I'd much rather have that stuff, because there's stuff I want. I'll never use this. All right, man, let's make it official. All right. Quack. Ladies and gentlemen, Quack. Quack. the proud owner of Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? You are fucking kidding me right now. Sorry. Man, I hope you have some kind of insurance or something. Not for me either. I don't care about my stupid leg. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my god. Well, we had a rare game. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm gonna have to get back all the Super Nintendo games. Hey, Oleg. You realize this is not a real Nintendo World Championship, right? <laughs> you just got punked, sir. <laughs> what do you think, Oleg? <laughs> so, I bet a lot of you are confused right now. <laughs> Allow me to explain. <laughs> so, basically, my good buddy Oleg, uh,. <laughs> I guess his knowledge of what a Nintendo World Championship looks like is not that good. And he told me about this trade, you know, and, and, and he told me about this game and this, uh, this opportunity that I had. And I'm sitting here and I'm super excited. You know, the thought of getting to own a gold NWC is just insane. And when I saw the picture, yeah. I knew it wasn't a real NWC. So at that point, I said, you know, I know it wasn't intentional on his part, but I've got to get him back for this. You know, that was that was such an emotional roller coaster. So this huge elaborate scheme was created that involved a lot of my friends. And even as you guys saw, the owner, Frank, he was a very willing participant. And uh, it was definitely really, really funny. And I guess at the end of the day, we all got memories and I got a gold NWC. Uh, not a real one, 
But, yeah. I mean, you could even see the break. <laughs> Sorry, Oleg. <laughs> you got served, son. <laughs> Oleg, you dingus. Oleg, Oleg, Oleg. Slow leg. Slow leg, slow leg, slow leg. Dude! How did you not know that was a What's fake wrong with Nintendo you? World Championships? It didn't even have the switch on it. Like, the big glaring thing that's Dark. noticeable on it. It wasn't there. But, you know, Oleg. You know what, Oleg? We've been friends with you, what, for a couple years couple now? couple years now, yeah. You know, it's time to put our differences aside. Slow leg, or, I mean Oleg, sorry. Yeah. We're trying to smooth things no. over. No, clean slate. So, as a peace offering, Nathan and I did a lot of talking, and we decided we we want to make up for being such jerks to you. We got you two, not just one, but two highly rare and collectible games out of our collection. Uh, you know, these are the genuine article. You know, we're, we're, we know you have learned from your mistake yeah. of the and Nintendo you know World what? Championship, it was, so... It was really hard having to oh, part with yeah. these, but, you know what, our friendship means so much more, and... Yeah. You know. Consider this a blank slate, a peace offering, whatever you want to call it. Megan, yeah. why don't you show the first one? All right. So, Oleg, I picked out one of my favorites, um, the rarest game that I own, and it's complete in box. Sealed, Which, even. Sealed. Oh, my God. And that is Flintstones Surprise Dinosaur Peak. Complete in box. You see it. There's, it's sealed. Look at that. Sealed. Look at it. It's perfect condition. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Sorry. Oh, oh, sorry I did oh. that. I'm sorry. But it's still sealed. It's well, sealed. to make up for Megan's folly with the first gift, let me I'm show sorry. you the second gift. Uh, you know this is a game I've wanted for a long time, one of my favorite series of all time, and uh, I want to pass it along to you because you're a good friend. I, we, you and you've been the butt of too many jokes. I worked a second job to buy him this game, okay? So uh, this is a lot of my hard work and oh, dedication yes. and blood, sweat, and tears. Maybe not blood, but... You know, extra hours I had to put in so I could afford for him to get this game. And now you're getting it, buddy. Because our friendship just means that much. It is. The one. The only. Panzer Dragoon Saga. All discs are in here. It's uh, complete. Mint condition. It probably even has and the foam one, in there, but I don't want to open it. This one has a special slip cover, slip too. Cover. Mm -hmm. Very rare. Very so, rare. So, add these to your collection. And uh, sorry for making you the butt of so many jokes, buddy. We love you, dude. It was, a, it was a great practical joke. The amount of planning that went into it was absolutely amazing. I mean, Scott's a lunatic. He, he drove his entire Super Nintendo collection, uh, let's see, 280 miles across the state for a practical joke on me. I guess I should be flattered. And as far as revenge, well, revenge, it's a dish that's best served cold and it might not happen today it might not happen tomorrow it's gonna happen my friend you're not gonna know when but the wheels are already in motion and you don't even know it you're not gonna know when it hits you you're not gonna expect it, it could be two months from now it could be two years from now you will never know but believe you me, it's coming. Scott's a douche bag. Scott's a douche. Douche.